You may or may not know this, but astronauts can lose like 10% of their bone mass in just 30 days of being in outer space. That's extraordinary considering that human beings lose about 1% of their bone mass per year at the, after the age of 30. And so that's like 10 years of bone mass loss and doing it in 30 days. Why is that? Well, your skeletal system, the purpose of it, it really, it has a lot of purposes, but there's two high level purposes for this video. One is it holds us up and two, it is a store of calcium. And if your body is not using your skeletal system, it will eat it. It will go pull the calcium out of there because it uses calcium. In fact, calcium is one of the most important minerals in the human body. You don't blink your eyes or your heartbeat or you have a thought without calcium being involved in that process. So when your body sees, hey, we're not using those uh, bones anymore, let's go ahead and take calcium from there. And so astronauts are losing an amazing amount of bone mass in just a short, short period of time, along with muscle strength. You've seen back when the old Apollo missions would come down into the into the ocean and the astronauts can't even stand up. The people have to get them out of there and then they had a hard time even rebuilding it. So gravity plays an enormous role in just reminding our bodies that we need our bones. That's why we're really only losing about 1% per year after the age of 30. But why are we even losing that? We're losing that amount because we're not putting enough pressure on our bones. So if one G of force, the gravity of the earth is sufficient, to really slow down your bone loss, more gravity is going to help your bones to grow. And that's really the essence of what it is that we do. You could see this even in fact with a gymnast. So gymnasts, when they go spinning through the air, they bam, they hit the ground and they experience many multiples of their body weight in that hundredth of a second. And as a result, gymnasts have some of the most powerful bones and muscles of any athlete around the world. So right there, you see lots of pressure builds really strong bones. Zero pressure destroys bones quickly. And one G of gravity or the Earth's gravity is only good enough to slow down your loss every year. So like with most things, pressure causes change. And when it comes to the human body, more pressure, better results. The great news about building your bone, a lot of people talk about building bone and there's a lot of things you could talk in there, but one critical component that most people miss is you need a lot of force to build bone. In fact, there was a study that was conducted in Bristol United Kingdom, I believe it was in 2012 by Deere, and that study showed that people couldn't trigger the osteogenic effect, the process by which your body builds bone, unless they experienced, subject in the study, experienced a minimum of 4.2 multiples of their own body weight. So the idea of walking or running or you know, lifting weights to build bone, it just has very little effect at all. And it requires a lot of force. So 4.2 multiples of your body weight is high. In fact, when those gymnasts smack the ground, they're usually hitting five to 10 times their body weight. But impact is pretty hard on the joints. And a lot of people don't realize this, but a gymnast will retire on average at age 19. And they also have a high incidence of hip and knee replacement surgeries. So the key, in my opinion, is to emulate high impact forces, but the good news is it only takes a few seconds one day a week.